live devotion time with Kira Foster. Glad to be with you today. Hope I'm connecting. And while we, yay, somebody's out there. We're watching and connecting. It's good to be with you today. I am going to give everybody a minute to see if anybody else wants to connect. Make sure I have all my comments up. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yay. Hello, good morning. Let's see, can I leave a comment? Here we go. Test my comment here. Yay, there's some folks connecting. Hello, thanks for checking in on this live devotional time. I still haven't gotten notice of it on my phone, so I hope it's going to happen here. First Christian Church. Kara Foster, thanks for being a part. And we'll go ahead and get started here. My phone. Okay, yeah. Good morning. Good morning, April. So... Okay, thanks for connecting. We'll go ahead and get started. I'll start with a few announcements. And um, announcement-wise, let's see. Backpack Blessings. We are collecting for our Backpack Blessings, which we send easily, um, easy fixable food for kids to take home on the weekends and it goes to our most at need children at west broadway is where we happen to send our backpack blessings that's hard to say backpack blessings things like um microwavable macaroni and cheese granola bars um crackers pack of crackers those uh, easy things that kids can grab and have access to individual cereals, those sorts of things. So, yay, I'm just now connecting. So maybe some of you all are just now joining. I see more. Yay, morning, Tim. Uh, and, um, yeah, thanks for being a part. And so, yeah, Backpack Blessings, we're still collecting for that. Worship still at 8.30 and 11 in person. Really encourage you to wear those masks. Uh, the Delta variant is no joke. And um, we're also on Facebook Live at 11 Central and on the radio, 105.9 FM. And I'll just tell you something fun that I'm working on right now is that I am in the planning on doing a labyrinth workshop in September. It'll be um, a weekday night, a couple hours event, and I would love for you to be a part of that. We have this uh, pretty labyrinth new labyrinth and we're gonna and we're gonna use it and labyrinth if you don't know is essentially a prayer walk since medieval times um christians have used these as a, as a devotion as a way to pray and so you walk and pray and i um so we're going to talk about what it is and we're going to do it and we're going to have food so and it's going to be um an outside event so that's the plan um let's see i think that's all i wanted to do announcement wise today it's good to have you all connecting hey wayne and donna good morning ed and so for devotional time today i want to be in the book of isaiah and before i read i wanted to tell you a little bit about my own train of thought i don't know about you but these have been um some weary and frustrating days especially in regards to covid and maybe events around the world i mean haiti afghanistan the pictures just breaking your heart into a million pieces really and um and i have the other day i was having this thought <laughs> and here it is it's not very kind people are so disappointing <laughs> that's that was the thought People are so disappointing. I can't even remember what it was particularly related to. I think it was around decisions with COVID and or what I see people doing or not doing and fighting about and um, just the ugliness. And I just was thinking these people are so disappointing. And as soon as I had that thought, I reminded myself that, um, yeah, my faith isn't in people. <laughs> 
people are disappointing. Uh, my faith's in God. And so with that thought, I wanted to read this scripture today, which is from Isaiah chapter 41, which is just a beautiful, Isaiah 40, 41, just some beautiful passages in Isaiah in the Old Testament. And this is what I wanted to read today. And I'm going to start in verse 13, and then I'm going to skip a little bit and come back still in the same chapter. And it says, For I, the Lord your God, hold your right hand. It is I who say to you, do not fear, I will help you. When the poor and needy seek water and there's none, and their tongue is parched with thirst, I, the Lord, will answer them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. I will open rivers on the bare heights and fountains in the midst of valleys. I will make the wilderness a pool of water and the dry land springs of water. I will put in the wilderness the cedar, the acadia, the myrtle, and the olive, and I will set in the desert the cypress, the, pl the plain, and the pine together, so that all may see and know, all may consider and understand that the hand of the Lord has done this. The Holy One of Israel has created it. For I, the Lord your God, hold your right hand. It is I who say to you, do not fear, I will help you. Isaiah starts with the personal and then moves on to tragedy and suffering. You know, when the poor and needy seek water and there's none, I, the Lord, the God, will answer them. I will not forsake them. And I don't know about you, but that gives me peace and strength. People may let you down. People may disappoint you along the way. So, but we trust in the one who doesn't disappoint and the one who will not let us down. God will make a way in the midst of disaster and suffering. Um, God will be, is already at work and Jesus is already present um, among the needs of the world and in our lives too. And so I just offer that word today. I hope it gives you some strength um, if you feel frustrated or disappointed or just plain old annoyed by what you see happening around you right now uh, to remember that our hope is not in people. <laughs> our hope is not in politicians. Our hope is not in society. It's in our creator who sustains us and redeems us and in the love of Jesus Christ that's still at work in the world. And that's something to hold to. And I hope, I hope it gives you some strength through the road. So if you need a reminder today, it's Isaiah 41, 13. For I, the Lord your God, hold your right hand. It is I who say to you, do not fear. I will help you. Amen. So let's get ready to pray, friends, and if you have a prayer concern, um, feel free to share it if you're willing to share it today. A friend of mine um, is a chaplain at Vanderbilt Hospital, and she um, messaged today that um, she is disturbed by the uh, capacity that that hospital continues to be at and, and that the patients are younger younger and um, how hard it is. And so I'd like to offer a special prayer today for uh, chaplains. I've got several friends in my life who serve as chaplains and um, keep praying for those medical professionals. But I also think about those chaplains who are gowning up and um, trying to be there for people in some very scary and sick times. And she also offered a word to please, please, please get vaccinated because she's, she just, um, it helps. It's helping right now. So um, does anyone else have prayer concerns? Ed, thank you. Prayer for a Nicaragua granddaughter, Joanna. Oh, I'm sorry that she's had COVID. I hope she's managed it okay. So thank you for that prayer concern for Joanna. Prayer for Haiti, Afghanistan. Are there other prayer concerns today? Anyone else? Oh, thank you, April. We'll pray for pray for her. Hope everything goes well. It's still a medical procedure, so yeah, pray. 
anyone else have any prayer concerns? Prayers for all you who are um, waiting for test results in between time, um, feeling, figuring out treatments, options, and what next steps. And um, hey, Sally, glad to have you back in Madisonville. So, um, and for all those who are sick with COVID right now in our community and everywhere, a lot of sickness right now. So I hope everybody's staying safe and um, and protecting yourself as much as you can. So yeah, let's get ready to pray. Daniel's grandmother missed it. Oh my goodness, yes. Let's pray for Daniel's grandmother. Thank you, Jennifer. Pray. Thank you. I'm sure she's also figuring out next steps and everything. And it's hard to have loved ones that live far away. It's really hard. So prayers for you all, too, in these challenging days. Thank you. Well, with all these prayers in mind, let's get ready to go to God in prayer. So wherever you are right now, I'll be it in your kitchen, in your car, um, at home, on the back porch, wherever you are, just pause with me and let's go to God in prayer. Gracious and Holy One, we come to you today mindful that you are our hope and our strength. You will not fail us or disappoint us. Who's as close as the shadow and at our right hand. Help us to hold to that and remember that. And we pray today for uh, Joanna as she continues to heal from COVID. We pray for the people of Haiti and Afghanistan. So much suffering, so much loss. We pray, God, for, for healing in those nations in all the ways that you make possible. And we pray for Jeannie and this medical procedure today. And we pray for Daniel's grandmother and really for his whole family who've just been through so much already with other, other illness in the family. God, we pray your mercies to be with them. We ask that everybody here today might find your strength for the journey. And we pray for peace each and every day. You are the one who will never leave us or forsake us. Amen. Thanks, everybody. And let's see. Sally is in. Oh, okay. My own a missionary friend. Wow. Okay, cool. Wow. We'll pray for them. So, um, so glad to have you all here. Thanks for connecting and being a part. And um, please don't hesitate to reach out if there's a way I can pray with you. And hope everybody's staying safe. And... Isaiah 41, for I, the Lord, your God, hold your right hand. It is I who say to you, do not fear. I will help you. Don't forget that. Have a great day, everybody. Take care.